Welcome back everyone. This is GTA Failure with the last video in this series. We all knew this day was coming. All right, Liberty City Farm is thriving after a complete spring season, 28 days in the record books, uh, 487,000 gold, 15 hours of playtime. Uh, this video series is far longer <laughs> than that 15 hours because the game was paused so much, uh, but that's okay. Let's jump in with our last full day of the game. Okay, Copper Trash Can is ready, outstanding. We'll take a look at the uh, fortune teller, but there's absolutely no chance we're going into the mines today. Very displeased, really no chance, uh, because we've got so much new stuff to uh, to do today. So let's uh, let's jump in with our last day. Okay, start off with coffee as usual. Uh, we'll take a look at the mail and probably get scolded. Oh, we got a recipe from Pierre. We can now cook the blueberry tart, excellent. Now we got scolded. Okay, business as usual. Let's take a look at the last daily plan. Oh, so sad. We don't have a summer two filled in at all. Okay, so just some reminders. Uh, make a copy of your save folder. Carry the stacks of gold crops um, that you don't need and give to everyone you meet. Uh, check the calendar tab. Um, this is a, a, a potentially a daily task for you. Uh, I've been telling you when everybody's birthday was in the spring, but you're on your own now for the rest of the seasons, the other three seasons. And you get mega points for giving a birthday boy or girl a, a loved or liked gift on their birthday. And, um, and so uh, what you can do is you could look up uh, anybody's uh, birthday on the wiki and, um, and then find out, uh, you know, what their liked or loved gifts are. Um, and uh, a rabbit's foot is loved by everybody except for Penny. Now, we don't have any rabbit's feet yet, but I think that uh, the rabbits, do we even have any rabbits? I don't know. If you have rabbits, then uh, eventually they might start dropping rabbit's feet, which would just be a nice thing to carry around for the birthdays. Everybody loves them except for Penny. Um, and then there's universally liked gifts like uh, all flowers except for Poppy, um, and then all fruit tree fruits except banana and mango, and then continuing to read here, all vegetables except for hops, tea leaves, wheat, and unmilled rice. But again, there's exceptions. Uh, certain people don't like, uh, you know, certain flowers or fruits or vegetables. So if you got a steady stream of rabbit's feet, that seems to be the safest thing to do for everybody except for Penny. But of course, you could go and look like we gave Shane a beer and we gave uh, Pam a parsnip because she really loves parsnips. Um, uh, and then I think there was somebody else that we went out of our way. We gave uh, one of the kids, I think, a, uh, a pink cake because uh, they loved it. So you can look up what they love uh, and then act accordingly. Uh, another reminder to do the mines, um, and uh, and then you're going to pet some animals. I guess we can start there, uh, and uh, we've got so we've got some fish to just drop off. Let's drop those off just before we do anything else, as usual. All right, so can we absorb stuff? Yes, we can. And then we'll put the uh, nope. We'll put this right in here. The broken CD. And whatever this thing is. Do we need any of the leaks? No, we got leaks right there. Get up there. Okay, cool. Uh, let's go into the veggies bin. And uh, if we have any, uh, let's see, I mean, I guess I could just give, uh, you know, gold, 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 but um, for some reason, it's just like having, uh, you know, like one of each of those gold, those golds just for a rainy day. Okay, and uh, I think we're back to parsnips if we uh, run out of giving gifts for folks. All right, so let's uh, head on up to our... Uh, See, our grass is running low here. Should we, should we plant some grass? No, I'm not even going to worry about it. We've got plenty of stuff to do today. Probably shouldn't even be petting all of our animals, but come on, how cute are they? They need some love and attention. Their sign, and I think cosine is over in the, uh, the barns. Okay, and they left up. Hey, what is this thing right here? That is a large brown egg. Hey now. All right, did, did they not eat the wild grass that's uh, mysteriously growing from the wooden floor? All right, guys, get out of the way. Out of the way. Out of the way. There we go. Okay, let's uh, come on in here and close and pet. Pet, 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 pet. All right, that's probably pretty good. We'll come on in. I said, we'll come on in. Still waiting for these guys to start, you know, like leaving milk. Oh, maybe we need like a milking machine. I don't know. I never milked any of these uh, animals in this game. So I don't know if you uh, have to do other stuff or if they just start dropping it like the uh, the ones in the in the coop. Okay, so I think uh, we could put the, uh, where did the eggs go? Oh, in the uh, animal products section right up here. So let's drop off some eggs, uh, take them. Okay, but this large egg, uh, large brown egg specifically, is a new one for us. So let's take a look. 
at the uh, large brown egg. What do we need here? Large brown egg. Oh, we need two of them. We've only got one. Uh, let's bundle this one, I guess. So, uh, nope. So one large brown egg and throw it in the bundle bin. Right. Nope. Right here. Okay. Cool. Uh, all right. Uh, next up is the. Uh, daily plan again. So we took care of our pets. Uh, then it says scythe all the dead crops. So let's do that. Uh, four. Okay, so uh, we can stand in the middle because, um, you know, because we didn't put the, uh, this is part of why I didn't want to put the new sprinklers in. I don't know what I just chopped off there. Look like it was still alive. What is this thing? All right, we don't want anything growing nearby, so we'll get rid of that. I think it was like a weed, you know, like kind of random random stuff growing in our farming area, which we don't want. I think it'll stop pretty much, except for maybe like right around the uh, scarecrows, because everything else is about to be filled with crops. Outstanding. Okay, so we did the siping, and it says till the rest of the farmed area. Okay, so uh, we'll get our little uh, hoe thing here, that one. Uh, all right, so again, I'm going to stand right here in the middle, and I'm going to uh, just do the four surrounding corners. And this is another reason why I didn't put the... Uh, the quality sprinklers in, even though we've got them, because I just think this is an efficient way to till. Uh, and I don't want to till the one in the middle, um, because we're about to put a bunch of seeds in, and seeds can only go in a spot which is tilled, and I don't want to accidentally put a seed where the sprinkler is going to go, which is the middle, like where I'm standing here. So it's all thought out. Uh, I'm only tilling one square at a time. Maybe it's better to till, you know, like nine squares at a time or three at a time. You got options. That is looking quite nice, very organized, very orderly, and very much ready for our quality sprinklers. Oh, the day has come to reap the fruits of our sprinkler labors. This butterfly is enjoying the view, watching a guy hard at work, living off the land digitally anyway. Okay, and then this one has a few extra that we got to do because this one we uh, we picked the cauliflower and then uh, and then the spots started to dry up. Okay, so almost done. And uh, frankly, um, if you uh, if you continue my plan, so everything is looking perfect there. Uh, but if you if you fill everything, all of those spots that we just tilled with um, seeds, which we're going to do today in this video, and you put the quality sprinklers in the middle, and then at the end of each um, something. Uh, as you're harvesting all of your seeds, uh, if you just um, uh, plant like some cheap seeds just to like hold the spaces, even though you don't intend to like harvest those cheap seeds later on in the season, like when you uh, roll over from the end of summer to the beginning of fall, um, you'll just scythe everything, but it'll all be tilled. It will look exactly like this after you scythe everything. And so you never, honestly, you never have to, to hoe up any of these spots again, as long as you just fill each of the spots with some cheap seed near, uh, you know, like when you harvest uh, the, the plants that are in the spots originally. I hope that makes sense. I don't know that I said that super clearly. Uh, it made sense in my head. Okay, uh, back to the task at hand. We tilled everything. Then it says craft some fertilizer. So we need some sap for that task. So let's go pick up some sap right over here. Okay, and uh, and then we can craft fertilizer. Uh, did we have any fertilizer? I don't even know. We do. We got 27. Okay, so I think it said uh, craft how many? 50. Uh, all right, so we need 23 of these things. Let's make 23 of them. Uh, where is the fertilizer? This one. Uh, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 1, 2, 3. Okay. Um, all right, 50 is good. Uh, I don't even think 50 is the right number. Maybe it's like 48 or something. But anyway, we got 50. I'm following my own directions, I trust me. Uh, and you could buy fertilizer if you didn't have enough sap for what we just did. Take a mostly empty backpack, but bring bars and hardwood. Um, and uh, and so let's go ahead and put the sap back here. And uh, and then we'll get the bars. Uh, I think you only need one of the bars for the uh, tool upgrade, but I don't know which one we need. We'll just bring them all. And then also, what else did it say? Hardwood? Yeah, because we're about to upgrade our house, which is like 150 hardwood purchase. Okay, and then um, one more thing, uh, since uh, we've got a few items here uh, that we came across uh, yesterday and then this egg today to bundle, uh, we'll just do that sort of on the way to the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, general store. Okay, so we are heading to the carpenter and the blacksmith and the general store and then back to the farm. Along the way, I'm going to do this one optional task here. We'll just go fishing one time real quick, uh, just because it's a new season. Um, and so uh, let's, uh, I'm actually going to add to my 
my step here. Uh, let's see, so we're first gonna do the community center. Is that right? Sorry. Carpenter, blacksmith, general store. Let's do the uh, community center after. Maybe like here. No, not there, after we fish. Community center, brilliant. Okay, uh, in fact, I think I'm gonna do these tasks in reverse order. It's a big circle, so it doesn't matter which way you go. Okay, so let's uh, head over to uh, the uh, community center first. Yeah, I think that works. Uh, let's see, do we have everything we need? I think we do, let me just double check at the bars. The uh, thing we're upgrading is already over there. It's the garbage can, it's never, it's never anywhere actually. All right, horsey, last ride of the video series. Okay, and uh, I've already lost my place here. Where are we going now? I think it's the community center first. Is that what we decided? Yeah, let's do that. I know what I'm doing, gang. We've got a well thought out, well crafted plan. Okay, right up here to the community center and we'll head on in and we'll see what we've got to deposit. Not too many items, but figured just uh, to wrap up things for this video series. Uh, I don't even know what the items are. So fried egg and Mackey roll and large egg. So uh, I don't think it's in any of these actually. Uh, so if I really want to be precise, I've never done this in the video, we'll just show it. Uh, I know that I have a uh, large egg. So where does it go? Well, apparently it goes in the animal section, which is part of the pantry, which is, uh, which is right up here. So maybe that was more efficient than what we've been doing this whole video series. Who knows? I'll just use my ax out of frustration. Okay, uh, large egg. Boom. Okay, large egg is now complete. Let's go back to it. Large egg white is done. Large egg brown is also done. Okay, and then what else do we have here? We got the uh, fried egg and the maki roll. I don't know where those things are. Fried egg is in the bulletin board. Uh, one note I've never mentioned, it says maybe don't uh, complete the bulletin board, like do all of the bundles maybe except for one uh, until you're really ready to work on friendship uh, with everybody, including Kent, who doesn't move on in until a few days into year two. Uh, just because uh, when you complete this bundle, you get a uh, big friendship boost with everybody in the game. Uh, and so maybe that's a good time to really try to get all of the villagers up above some um, uh, friendship threshold where the friendship won't decay anymore if you ignore them for the rest of their lives. Okay, not that we're planning on doing that. All right, so I think we're uh, ready to put uh, both of these things in the chef's part of the bulletin board. So let's let's get to it. Okay, so we passed the fish, passed the Jumanji's. Chef's bundle. Okay, there's the maki roll, which I uh, accidentally used up a, a rare fish in. I looked at my video and I saw that it took one of my eels, which is really annoying because eels are only in spring and fall and not summer. So I can't like catch it today just to get that that, uh, that thing back. And uh, and also they only come out in the rain. They're kind of annoying to catch. Ugh. Ugh, I messed up, gang. I should start over. Okay, Maki roll, yes, fried egg, yes. Okay, cool, uh, more progress on uh, bundle. Three out of six there, that's excellent, excellent work. Okay, uh, so I think the uh, the bundles are done. Let's get out of here. And uh, and just do one thing of fishing. Oh, I noticed that we're tired here. How come we're so tired? Uh, I think it's because, um, I think it's because we stayed out late last night and uh, didn't level up anything. Okay, uh, oh, also, because we've been doing all, no, it's not that, it's that we've been doing all the hoeing today. That's why we're tired. Okay, so we'll just head on down here to the river. Um, and I just want to find any part of the water, like right here. It's beautiful. Never fished over here in my life. Number eight. And we'll just throw this in and see what happens. Now, my plan is just to do one one catch here. That's it. Don't Don't know what kind of river fish we have. But the fact is, this is a new season. Let's see what we get here with this chest. Can I get the chest? Okay, now can I get the fish? It's a new season, which means potentially new fish. For example, a pike. How about that? Outstanding and three geodes. Oh, killing it, killing it, killing it. All right, so we caught a pike. So let's just take a quick look at the uh, all items. Well, I guess we're not really ready to put it in there, but we can go into the fish and say the pike is done, pike. There you go, first summer fish completed. 
Outstanding. Uh, okay, so lots of new fishing to do uh, in each of the areas. Potentially, uh, some fish only show up in the rain. You got to, you know, like you're starting over basically. Um, you got like lots of great tools now, and your skills have improved. Uh, you know, like literally these skills over here, um, and your equipment is good. But uh, but you got to you got to fish everywhere again. The river, the ocean, the the mountain, lake, rain, wind. I don't know. We're doing doing a whole new collection of things. Okay, uh, so uh, let's move on back to the all items list. Nope, back to the daily plan. Uh, okay, so we did one fish. Uh, supposed to do one forage. I guess we'll just do that as we see it. I uh, wasn't planning on, uh, what was I planning on doing next? General store for the crops. I don't know why I'm saying that. Let's do the blacksmith next. Let's do the blacksmith. We're right here. Okay, and uh, what is this thing here, my friends? Never seen it before. It's a sweet pea. How about that? So brand new uh, foraging to do. Uh, lots of new stuff, uh, you know, that is going to be used for cooking and crafting and shipping and bundles. And so again, basically starting over with a fresh set of stuff to go collect. This game is great. All right, uh, let's come on in here. And uh, I wasn't planning on doing any geode stuff. Received a copper trash can. Let's actually talk to talk to this guy. I think we can give a gift again. Yep, <laughs> I'm the blacksmith. He knows who he is. Alrighty, uh, and uh, let's do some geos just because we picked them up. So here you go. Give it a whack. All right, I think we got one of those already. The Jambo Wright. What the heck is that thing? Dwarvish helm. Are we playing Lord of the Rings? What is that? All right, uh, done with that. Uh, let's uh, upgrade the only thing we can, which is the steel trash can. And there you go. Get started on it, please. And uh, you know we got something new for the the museum, so let's let's bring it. Let's bring it. Just gotta make sure we get to the carpenter and the um, something or other uh, uh, general store before they close. But I think we're good. Okay, uh, dwarvish helm. Uh, I don't know here. Let's uh, get credit for that as well. Museum, dwarvish helm. Where are you? Right there, count it, whatever it is. Okay, uh, we can't come around and like actually interact with this guy here, right? We can't reach him for, for gifting purposes. Okay, all right, no green bean for you. Too bad, so sad. Oh, we have no coffee, let's get some coffee. Six, drink. Okay, hop on. All right, this guy's hiding. He doesn't think we're gonna smack him with a green bean. He is wrong. This is cool. And all right, making good progress. Okay, uh, next thing, uh, I think the general store. It's not too far away. And then uh, we'll wrap up this, uh, this trip with the, uh, heading to the carpenter. Okay, we do have lots of stuff to do in here, lots of stuff to buy, I should say. On Wednesdays, the shop is closed. Yeah, no kidding. All right, we have more stuff to give, right? Zero potato and uh, regular old parsnip. No, gift. Gift. I am so sure. All right, how about you, Pierre? Parsnip? You bet. All right, and then talk. Summer seeds are available. That's why we're here, my friend. And uh, gosh, it's just gratifying to see, you know, five, four, a bunch of threes here. I gotta work on some of these folks that we don't see as often, uh, you know, like George, like the people that kind of stay in their house and we don't, we don't see them wandering around randomly. Those are the ones that we only made one trip to the wizard. Ah, oh, we've got work to do, gang. Still got work to do. But what we're going to do is buy some brand new stuff. How cool is this? Whole new collection of things. Uh, let me get organized here. I'll put the bars up here. Okay, all good. Uh, and then I want to go see what I'm supposed to buy because I have very specific calculations that I've done for your benefit and mine. Okay, uh, here we go. Uh, where is it? Somewhere, right here. Okay, 32 melon, 16 tomato. Let's do it. Melon, 25, 32, 16 tomato. I think the next one's eight. Eight blueberry seeds, eight pepper, eight wheat, eight radish, eight poppy, eight pepper, eight wheat. A radish and a poppy. And what about the spangle? Eight of those, eight hops. Look at all of the seeds. Um, five, 
six, seven, eight. Great. Uh, this is why we came with a largely empty backpack. 16 corn, just to change things up. And eight sunflower. All right, just gonna double check my calculations here. It goes uh, 32, 16, ton of eights, and then only uh, 16 corn is the only non-eight. So we go 32, 16, bunch of eights, uh, 16 corn, and eight. So why did I pick all of these numbers? Well, um, the quality sprinkler can um, water uh, the eight surrounding tiles. And so I just figured I would throw, you know, like one crop of eight all around one sprinkler, and then we move to the next three by three square and put the next crop of eight. So generally my rule of thumb is eight, but in some cases we need more uh, than eight of a certain crop. Usually eight is enough, you know, for like bundling and crafting and cooking, but sometimes you need more than eight. Um, and so that's why I picked uh, the ones that I did, the numbers that I did. Uh, and also, uh, if we go back here, uh, I'll show you in the all items section uh, that there's, uh, remember how we, we worked real hard for five golden parsnips? Well, you got to work hard for, for a couple of other sets of five golden um, something or others. Five gold corn, five gold melon. That's why we bought more of those. And in fact, we're actually going to fertilize the spots for the corn and the melon. Uh, okay, so uh, let's uh, carry merrily along. Daily plan. Okay, so we stopped here. We bought everything we needed to buy. We're going to fertilize, but actually we've got one last thing to do on this out-of-order errand trip. We're going to go to the carpenter and, uh, and order our new house upgrade. So let's do that. And I think we're good. Uh, so I want to talk to this person, but not give them one of my copper bars. You kidding? Did we talk to them already? We did. We did. Never mind. Okay, uh, so heading uh, right up here to the carpenter. And you can see new... Uh, uh, forageables to be plucked out of the ground. Marnie, what you got? Great season for stargazing, if you say so. It's a great season for parsnip giving. That's what the kids say anyway. Okay, doing it, doing it. Let's head in. And we're open, having a nice walk. My horse is having a nice walk. And how about we just chat as well? All right, so uh, I don't think we need to shop for anything. Uh, we're not doing a construction building. We're upgrading the house for the first time since since day one of this playthrough. Uh, we did our first house upgrade on spring one, and then we have not done the second house uh, upgrade just yet, but we're doing it now. Uh, 50,000 gold, easy. Uh, 150 pieces of hardwood, easy because we have the forest farm. Let's do it. Okay, uh, that's it. Our last uh, building upgrade of the video series. Things are winding down. All right, and we're heading back to the farm, keeping our, our, our eye out for new uh, forageables. And working our way through here, let's just check the mushrooms, because why not? Looks like more of the same. I didn't think it would uh, it would change at all based on the, you know, the season changing, but figured I would just give it a look. Okay, cool, nope, I don't want to eat it. I want to hop in here. Uh, just uh, take a look here, 200 out of 720. Okay, so this is something where we can just like grab this and put it in. I think we just need to throw it up here and hold it nine and then right click, nope, right click on the silo. And now I think just like that, uh, they're all filled up. Right click on the silo again, 720 out of 720, which is enough to feed all of these guys through the winter. Of course, I don't have enough wild grass out there right now. I could probably just let these guys roam free um, uh, but I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I was tempted to just do it in the last video and just have all the chaos of animals running everywhere, but, uh, but I'm about to plant and I don't want these animals in my way while I'm planting. So no fun to be had. Sorry. Okay. Got some mushrooms to uh, deposit. There you go. Uh, got, uh, a, a sweet pea. I guess we gotta, we gotta catalog that. Pea, peach, sweet pea. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'll just throw this one into a bundle. So we've got one, and yes. Okay, cool. So right here, there we go. This one, and I think the pike is going to be the same deal. No, pike. Where's the pike? Oh, pike is irrelevant. Sorry, fishy. All right, get out of here. Okay, let's uh, bring back what happened. I said, oh, it didn't fit. Okay, first fish in the new bin. There you go, get out of here. 
All right, so let's uh, dump pretty much everything here. Uh, I'm going to hold on to my tools, but get rid of that. And throw the, these things back. Well, nothing's going back up. That one, and the bar, and the hardwood, and the bar. Okay, I think that's everything that goes there. We'll throw the fertilizer. No, we need to hold on to the fertilizer. We're about to use it. And then I think we've got some extra jamba right, and that's looking good. Okay, now I do want to be very careful about the order of operations here. I wrote this down kind of thoughtfully, uh, and I'm going to delete this step. This was really just for showing off, uh, you know, the new forageables, the new um, sub the, the new fish. Uh, so lots of foraging and fishing required for the rest of the summer. Uh, okay, did the house upgrade, upgraded the trash can, bought everything. Now it says fertilize six sets of eight spots for melon and corn. Six sets. Uh, so it doesn't matter which six that you do, uh, but uh, six happens to be like how many are in a uh, vertical column here. So how about we just do this leftmost column with fertilizer, uh, the less, leftmost column of, um, of sets of sprinkler things. I don't know if that makes sense. Okay, we're just going to plop it straight down in a line. Here we go. Hoping not to skip anything. I'm just holding left click this whole time. Straight up in a line. And then we just got to fill in and again, not having the, uh, whatchamacallit, sprinklers in there makes that task easier because the fertilizer doesn't go on the untilled land where the sprinklers won't go. Okay, uh, so that's cool. We have exactly two left, which makes sense. Uh, let's uh, deposit that fertilizer back here. Come on now. There we go. Okay, and uh, and now i got to make sure I put the right uh, crops onto those spots. And again, I'm, I'm putting the crops on there that need five set five gold ones each. And so I picked... Uh, three sets each uh, for melon and corn. Actually, I put more melon than corn. Oh, I think it's because the corn is a, a repeat. Uh, like we get several, maybe like two or even three uh, harvests of corn this uh, this season. Um, and so I think I picked some numbers. Like I looked at the probability, the binomial distribution, and the likelihood of getting at least five um, gold melons when each melon has a 12-ish percent chance of becoming gold. And I decided 32 was a, it's not guaranteed, you might not get five, you might not get any with 32, but it's uh, it's quite likely. It was an acceptable risk for me. So I came up with 32 and 16. So melons and corn, 32 and 16. Okay, so let's put the 32 up here. Where'd it go? Oh, I just put it somewhere that I didn't mean to. Come back. Come. I have no earthly idea. Where the heck? Oh, I don't think it's 32 anymore. <laughs> I'm looking for a 32, but I think it got, it got bigger. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay, let's go back to 32. I was precise with my calculations here. Okay, so 32 there, and uh, that's not corn. 16 corn. Melon and corn. Melon and corn. Just double checking. Melon and corn. Okay, let's do it, gang. Okay, uh, so we're going to put the, uh, I'm going to stand right here in the middle, and I'm going to put eight. Great, which brings me to the next multiple of eight. 24 left. There'll be 16 left after this batch. Eight left after this batch. Feel free if you uh, have artistic senses. You can, you know, make your your farm kind of, farm kind of look aesthetically pleasing with the colors and the mixing and how you set up your your batches of seeds. Uh, I'm a kind of utilitarian in a lot of ways, so I'm just gonna do it this way. And just like that, all the seeds uh, given fertilizer. Okay, and then I think we're just gonna uh, plant everything else. Um, we took care of the melon and the corn, so everything else. Uh, the only thing to be careful about is the uh, hops because you can't, how does this work? You can't, like once you're, uh, like if you're standing in the middle and you plant eight hops around you, you won't be able to get out. So you'd have to break one of them. So I'm not going to stand in the middle for those. And I'm also going to make sure that I don't put the hops. Let me actually do the hops first. And then we'll do the rest of these things anywhere. Um, I think the hops are the only one that... Uh, that grow on a trellis. That's the only thing I'm looking at here. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and cool. All right, uh, I'm going to do the hops first, and I'm going to put them uh, where I have room to access them. So one, two, three, and then I'm getting out of the way so I don't paint myself into a corner. Okay, and I, wait, uh, okay, this is something interesting. I need to put the sprinkler in there before I put this last one. I am thinking on the fly. I'm a smart, smart guy. Where's the sprinklers? Oh, look how pretty those things are. Okay, put this one up here. And I actually feel like I should put a note because not everybody's going to be able to think on the fly like I did there. Beautiful. Okay, so let's make a note here. 
plant all starting with melon and corn on the fertilized spots and put sprinkler inside of which one are we planting now the uh, hops section for planting hops okay so that's done let's uh so let's put the last one where does it go right there okay i don't think we need to be careful about any other ones so we'll just plop them anywhere again feel free to express yourself the corn is going to come right up here which is actually kind of cool because i think we'll be uh picking the corn multiple times there multiple harvests wait was that what was that was that corn i thought i put the corn down here the heck did I do? Did I goof? I don't know if I goofed. Uh, let me let me just take a look. What were the two seeds that I wanted? Melon and corn. Is that not what I planted first? All right, I gotta pause. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I took a quick look at the uh, the diagram for the corn, and it's these. What the heck did I do, gang? How is it after a full season of making these videos, I'm still doing silly stuff? Okay, I don't think it's that big a deal. Um, I just planted the corn not on fertilized space, so that means we need to put fertilizer. Let's do that. Uh, where is the fertilizer? I got two, I need some sap. Uh, how many is that, 16? 16, let's make some fertilizer. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay, uh, five, 10. I think that's one too many actually. Okay. My fault. All right, so we should have one left over, I think. Two left over. Did I miss a spot? I don't know. We have one left up for now. Okay. All right, all right. I don't know how I put the wrong one. I would swear I like triple checked my work there. Okay, okay. What is this? Sunflower seeds. All right, so let's uh, just move stuff up above now. And here I think we can be pretty careless as we plant. And uh, again, standing here in the middle with uh, only the hoed spots around us means that uh, you can't possibly mess this up. Even though I messed up that other thing. Can't mess this up. Okay, good, good, good. And just a few more. Everything's looking pretty. And two more. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're not going to show in this video series us harvesting all of these goodies, uh, but once you harvest them, um, like I was saying before, uh, you know, you can just like, you can plant other plants there if you just want more of any one particular thing. Like, I think that, that all of these things uh, will give us all of the needs that we have for these summer crops. Um, but if you just like, you know, growing more stuff, then grow more stuff. It's easy. It doesn't take that long for me to, uh, you know, to scythe away the old crops and then plant the new ones. Um, and uh, or if you don't want to do that at all then go buy like the cheapest seed that you found over there and then just like plant it every time you harvest a new plant just plant the cheapest seed on top let it grow to you know like the end of its cycle but then don't ever harvest it just let it sit there as a placeholder until fall the first day of fall okay i think we got to put sprinklers in no does that sound like a good idea place 16 quality sprinklers we are doing it doing it doing it doing it all right one here one here that's beautiful. Just need to move over a tiny bit. So here I'm holding left click. And again, the sprinklers will only go in a spot that uh, doesn't have a seed on it. So no danger here of doing anything silly. But maybe I could find a way. And that's it. 16 quality sprinklers. I cannot believe the day has finally arrived. This just looks amazing to me. Holy cow. What a journey it has been just to get to this spot. And again, I will remind you that we watered uh, 64 parsnips three times, and that's it. And we let, we let the uh, normal quality sprinklers uh, get us all the way up to enough, um, you know, strawberries and other crops to get us experience to unlock the quality sprinklers here. Uh, that is fantastic. Okay, gang, uh, I got nothing else to, to share with you. Uh, I've, I've told you everything I know which sadly is only like, I don't know, 5% of this game. I mean, this game is massive and I'm just a beginner here. Uh, but I, um, I did want to share, uh, you know, uh, all my, the results of my theory crafting. I think I've come up with a uh, pretty good plan. Uh, a lot of it hinges obviously on the, uh, the money cheat that we did a bunch, the uh, phone calls cheat 
Uh, so hopefully you uh, you were willing to cheat along with me uh, if you wanted to follow this plan. Um, so uh, I'm not going to go to bed early. I uh, haven't gone to bed early on any night in this entire series, so I feel like we got to do something. I don't know. What should we do? Should we fish? Um, like you can run around for forageables if you want. Uh, I don't think I want to do like uh, hardwood farming because that's boring and we've done it. Oh, this guy's sleepy. So cute. Um, you know, like we've done all the, the hardwood stuff repeatedly. Um, I feel like we should fish. Uh, just because we've got new fish to catch. So let's, uh, let's head on up to the mountain lake. Uh, I think it's the place that we fished the least out of all the places we fished. Linus is, is up here in his tent, hopefully quite cozy. Okay, so we'll grab that thing. All right, uh, and uh, we, can, uh, we can say hi to this guy. Do we have any gifts? I wonder if he likes grapes. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any gifts for him. I'll just say hello. <laughs> that guy's pretty funny. Uh, all right, uh, so what am I doing? Um, so I could farm. Uh, sorry, I could fish uh, like right over there. I just want to oh, look out, look out. Um, just wanted to take a quick peek to see if there's any uh, fishing hotspots because that is where I want to be. But I don't see any, so let's just uh, let's just fish. Okay, uh, so we'll get our bonus here, and then number nine for the fishing. Let's do it. All right, gang. Ten o'clock, four hours of fishing here at the mountain lake. Catching some new fish. Uh, I have no earthly idea if the, any of the summer fish are difficult. Like the, um, you know, the eel is pretty tricky. Uh, there was that one I had a devil of a time with. Carp. Is that one of the ones I needed from before? I think it is. Um, yeah, I, uh, I didn't catch enough carp in the spring. I think we needed four more. Uh, but what was the one that was real tough to catch? The catfish in the rain. Uh, that was super tricky. So I don't know if there's other ones like that, you know, where they're just like really difficult to catch uh, and if they're available in any weather like we're in now, like nice weather or if it has to be raining or snowing in the winter or something. I don't know. I don't know. We're just uh, experiencing this together for the first time. Can I get the chest? Can I get, come on up here, up here, up here. All right. Take the chest and not the perfect. I was hoping for both. With that multiplicative bonus chub and a chest. Great. Fantastic. All right, this is not the exciting uh, summer, <laughs> brand new summer collection of fish I was hoping for. I haven't seen anything new except for that one river fish we caught. Uh, but like I said, I just don't know. I don't know about anything in this game outside of spring. All right, we don't get a perfect, so let's get a chest at least. Oh, come back. Wait, 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 wait. Don't get the chest unless you unless you make the catch eventually. All right, all right, relax, relax. We're all friends here. Another chub, another chest, two stone, blah. Your fish tackle has worn out. How about that? Uh, yeah, you can see it's empty there. So now we're fishing with no tackle. I uh, didn't plan this very well. I probably should have used the, uh, the tackle. Right now, I think I was using the tackle that makes it like, easier to catch the fish uh, for like the really difficult to catch fish, like that scorpion, whatever, in the desert. Um, I should be using the one that decreases the time between bites. That's the one where you get the most bang for your buck when you're going for quantity over quality. Is that another carp? Excellent. We needed four carp, but I was really hoping to show off some uh, summer exclusive fish. Uh, I might just head down to the river for the last uh, two hours or so. Let's see what this one is. Let's see if we can catch a uh, brand new fish. Oh, look out. <clears throat> uh, what is that? Bullhead. All right, all old stuff. Look at the, uh, the fireflies. That's pretty cool. I had no idea that was a thing. So we're learning stuff here, kids, in our first summer together. All right, so where can we fish here? I think I can just walk down and get fishing. Woo! All right, let's see if we got anything new here in the last two hours of our video. There we go. What do we have? Something easy, I hope. Not too aggressive. This guy's being fairly aggressive, which I think means it's something I don't have yet. I don't recognize this uh, fingerprint. What is this guy? Oh, a pike. We do have that one. Uh, we caught our first pike earlier today. Oh, we got something. Green algae. And another hour or so before we pass out. I like the idea of just passing out on our uh, 29th straight night. 
just being consistent. Oh, we lost it. We had, could have had a perfect, what looks like another pike here. All right, pikes apparently are quite common. I don't know, maybe there's more summer fish in the ocean. Oh, I get tricked every time by that snoozing thing because I'm not listening to the sound here. It's only the visual exclamation point that I'm looking for. Uh, so maybe there's more uh, fish to be had exclusively in the summer in the ocean, or maybe uh, in different kinds of weather. I don't know. What is that? A bream. We've got breams before. I do like the firefly animation. That's pretty cool. It does remind me of sort of summers growing up. And it's warm out, and you go out at dusk, and the sky would, not the sky, but like just everywhere around you would be this like light show with the fireflies. It was pretty neat. Okay, but even if we're not getting new fish that we need, although we did need, you know, we've got a couple of carp, we needed those. Um, we are improving our, uh, increasing our, our fishing skill. We're at six. Um, the legendary fish become accessible only when you're at level 10 fishing, which is good. Um, and also, oh, did I just pass out? Uh, and also every time you uh, level up your fishing skill, your uh, the rectangle that you're trying to keep the fish inside gets a little bit bigger, a few pixels bigger. Okay. Gang, we have made it. Uh, it is the end of um, something, end of the road here for this video series. But I just figured because we worked so hard to get those quality sprinklers, I just want to run outside while they're still on and just appreciate how awesome these quality sprinklers are before they turn off for the day. But look, everything nice and watered, everything orderly and organized. I have no idea what I fertilized over here, but we'll find out, or at least I'll find out in a bunch of days when everything comes up. Uh, so I think that is it. Uh, uh, gang, thank you so much for sticking with me through this video series. Uh, each video ended up being kind of longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, like if you just complete a day without pausing the game, I think it takes 14 minutes. And like my videos are, are on average well over 14 minutes, probably more than double that time. I spent so much time uh, in the pause menu really trying to maximize the uh, stuff I could do in the uh, in the given hours when the, the clock was ticking away in the game. Uh, so it's been fun for me. I hope it's been fun for you. Um, I think this is going to be the last video that I uh, that I post in this series. Um, to be honest, I haven't actually made all the introductory videos. I thought I would make the series first, then put the introductory video. So hopefully you watched those already. But if not, maybe go back and check them out. Uh, I can tell you that one of the introductory videos is going to be me in this save file on um, summer two, uh, like I'll just load the save file again and I'll come out of bed and I will show all of the things in the farm, like as an introductory video thing to like kind of illustrate what the goals of the video series, the upcoming video series are. And in that video uh, introduction, I also intend to, you know, like we'll show off everything we built, we'll show off the animals, the, the animal buildings, um, and we'll show off the organization of the chests. Uh, we'll show off every tab of the spreadsheet uh, we'll show off everything that we uh, got credit for. Like, I'm not going to, like, read each of these things out loud in that video, but I am going to point. Uh, I'm going to click on every one of these tabs and just briefly explain, okay, you got to catch every fish. Here are all the ones we've caught, and here are the grayed out ones we haven't caught yet. Um, and, uh, and so if you want to see, um, you know, like the, uh, the complete collection of stuff, I'm just clicking on it here real quick, but I'll go in more detail um, in that video, in that introductory video, which I will make and post earlier in this playlist. So yeah, uh, we are we are doing good stuff here. This is pretty darn cool. Okay, so this has been a lot of fun for me. I hope it's been fun for you. Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me. I do appreciate, and I hope uh, you get a chance to play this game uh, if it uh, strikes your fancy. Uh, I just think it is so, so cute and uh, love collectathons. And my goodness, this is the biggest collectathon I've ever played. Uh, hoping to get that perfection rating someday, many, many, many days and hours from now. Um, we'll see. Uh, like I said, I only know like 5% of the game, so I don't know what I'm trying to commit to when I say I want to get the perfect rating. Uh, but I'm going to keep going as long as this game grabs me, and it's, it's grabbing me pretty hard right now. So uh, thank you for watching, and take care. Bye now.